On a new episode of The Debrief, we're tackling one of Hawaii's biggest challenges, the shortage of affordable housing. Digital producer Emily Cristobal spoke with lawmakers who spearheaded efforts that Governor Green recently signed into law. Housing in Hawaii is one of the top issues the state is trying to tackle, and we're already seeing this with Governor Josh Green issuing an emergency proclamation to streamline new developments. I spoke with State Senator Stanley Chang and State Representative Troy Hashimoto about their plans in housing current residents and Hawaii's future generations. Here's a listen into that conversation. The reality is, I've never heard anyone say, well, if we have 10,000 homes to build a year, um, then we should pave over the 2,500 acres of undeveloped land every year in order to build those homes. That's 2,500 acres a year, every single year, forever. And not just on Oahu, but on all, all of the islands. And I think we can all agree, Emily, that the natural habitats for our indigenous and endangered species, the food production capacity of the state of Hawaii in our agricultural lands, are very important and we should not be contemplating throwing all of that away just to build thousands of acres of suburban sprawl every year. And so that's why I think the real answer is to concentrate that development in the urban core where the transportation infrastructure has already been built at dear cost to Hawaii taxpayers. And I think the biggest other barrier for, for a lot of this development, especially if we want density, is obviously infrastructure. Um, and I think along the areas that we want to develop, that is actually what is slowing down a lot of our development is because we don't have enough sewer capacity. We do not have enough electrical capacity. And I think now more than ever because of this Red Hill issue, and it's always been an issue on the neighbor islands, is water capacity, right? And so even if we wanted to build a whole lot very quickly, we don't have the fundamental um, things in place to allow that to happen. And so I think this, the strategy now moving forward is that the state and the counties really want to try and be strategic in trying to pick up some of that infrastructure cost, because historically, that's really what the county and state should be doing. And we definitely delve more into this topic on The Debrief, where we also answer what actionable plans are in the works to house and keep locals living in Hawaii. And because this is such an important issue, this is just part one of the housing discussion on The Debrief. You can scan the QR code for more on the story, and I hope you tune in tomorrow for part two. This is Emily Cristobal for Hawaii News Now.